Okay, welcome to another video. This is PKBAG, and uh, I want to take that back. Not another video. This is the premiere video. How about that? So, I uh, haven't done one before. Here we are. And uh, today, we are going to look at some pickleball paddle stats. And uh, we're going to look at John Q's spreadsheet he provided on his website, John Q Paddle Reviewer. Does a lot of work to get this database going. And uh, we're going to go through some of this. We're going to go through a few of the analytical things I looked at, some basic statistics. We're not going to be able to unpack all of this now. Uh, so there might be a second video. Uh, because, let's face it, we're staring at a spreadsheet right now. Who wants to stare at a spreadsheet any longer than they have to? Well, I, br I break it up. I break it up. I break it up. I break it down. I feel like we're going on a boat ride. We're, we're on the shore. We're excited. We're going to go on a boat ride. We're going to take you way out, and you're not going to see land. And then we're going to bring you right back, and it's going to be it's going to be nice at the end. So, anyway, hold on tight and enjoy the ride. Uh, anyway, I love pickleball, and uh, after watching reviews and seeing prices, you know, a lot of things I think about are well, what's the differences between some of these paddles. And I think a lot of reviewers are now getting to a point where, you know, I'm starting to read like a lot of the same things for a lot of the paddles. So we're going to try to be objective here. We're going to look at stats. Um, we can also be subjective down the road, depending on, you know, things like, you know, what's value, what is value to us. Anyway, let's get to it. This spreadsheet here, uh, this is this workbook is, is separated into a bunch of tabs that I worked on. We can't get through all of them today. The first tab is just the raw data from John's spreadsheet. And I always copy it, keep the original raw, just in case something happens to any of the copies. So um, you can see here we've got make and model, price. We're going to look at price today. We are also going to look at things like spin, and then we've got power and pop in miles per hour down here. So power, he calls power, pop, and go from there. So hopefully we'll get through it all. All right. First thing is just some basic descriptive stats. And in this database, we have 78 paddles. We've got an average price of 185.20. We have a median price of 180. And the median is important if you know anything about statistics. You'll know that sometimes when you take an average, you might get a few items on the really high end that skew the average up, or the same way on the low end and skew the average down. The median is the value that's right in the middle. If you put all of the prices in a row, which one is in the middle? So we've got 180. So th what that means is, there are a few extra paddles in there that are more than 180, kind of skewing the average up. For spin, uh, he uses RPMs. We've got an average of 1816 and a median of 1908. So that what this means is there's probably some on the lower end of spin dragging the average down from the median. Or there's just fewer paddles with a spin higher than 1816. There's a couple ways to skew that data. Uh, so that is of all 78. And I did narrow it down. So the next tab, I narrowed it down to 48 only because I wanted to make sure if you look at all these numbers are filled out. For those that were not all filled out, I filtered them off because I, I'd like to use a full set of data. So like for instance, uh, there's like one at the top here that doesn't have two values. It's not a big deal, but we're going to work with 48 here. 48 paddles. And it does change things a little bit. Our median and average went up. Spin was about the same. It's a little more consistent here. 1978, 1999, 1919. And then I added power and pop. 54 and 54 for the median, 34 for pop, 
34 for pop. Again, these are miles per hour, and they're very consistent to the median. Now, here's something fascinating I found. I like to like to point out. This is where, this is where we're really getting out in that boat ride, man. We're getting really really far out there. For all 78 paddles, I did a pivot on the price. And there's a high concentration of paddles in the 180 to 200 dollar price range. If you didn't know that already, just by shopping, 37% of this database falls right here. We've got less and more than 180 and 200, but there's a huge concentration in that 180. It must be something marketing. It must be something where companies think they could be competitive at that 180 range, uh, and and still have a quality product without uh, losing their shirt and really going down in price. Uh, or it must just be, you know, what the market can bear. Um, but obviously we know there's paddles less and there's paddles more. This happens to be a little focal point and I just wanted to point that out. I've got my pivot. Here's something I tried to do. I wanted to try to find a value, like a value quotient. This was not a good turnout and I'll show you why. I call this tab sum and divide. So what I did, all I did was add numbers together and divide by the price because value is what you get for what you pay for. And it didn't work out very well. I'll show you why. So I added spin, power, and pop in a sum and I divided by price. And the problem is that the spin is weighted too heavily, so there's a spin bias in this measurement. Uh, I did get some rankings, but let's face it, you've got the second one here that doesn't have any power or pop, and it's second, so you know it would be higher if um, you know if there were any values there. The other thing is very dependent on is price. So when you look at the price of a lot of these here, we've got. Yeah, they're well a lot of them are well under two hundred dollars. We don't have a two hundred dollar one. because uh, as the price goes up, the uh the quotient here I've I've sort of calculated goes down. It's not a good way to do statistics. Don't do this. Well we learn, right? So what I figured I would do, I'm not you don't even need to see my results here on this tab. We're gonna go to the next one. I decided to rank uh the three categories, spin, power, and pop uh, for each category, and then add them up. Uh, so if it had the highest spin, it got a number one. So the highest spin, one, two, three, four, etc. Power, pop, etc. All the way down. And price though was a little different because the lowest price got the highest rank. And then you add them up. So the lowest score is a 53, which means uh, it got the 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 sort of the highest uh, highest consideration of all of these in combination to get the lowest combined score. I'm not sure if this is fair either, but we're just just stick with me here. 53, and then we get into some 70s, some 80s, and some 90s. Let's take a look. Let's re the big reveal. Who are these top 10 paddles? gonna look at oh we've got look at this pickleball apes coming in at number one um, with 53 points and one thing I did not put here is the price where's my price tab oh man I'm sorry I gotta unhide my columns I don't know where they are probably right here Wrong one. I am so sorry. I should be. I should have this sticking out. Here we go. So number one, pickleball apes, 169. Who Def Viva Pro Gen 2, 129. It's a very good paddle. And you see other paddles here that are on tons of other reviews. We finally get into our Valer, our 180 price range. Look at that. There's three of them in a row. Valer comes back. 
and we've got the filth look at that at 165 so this is one little way to say hey I want to just consider a couple things one thing I could do let me hide some of this stuff here real quick is consider more features so I only did spin power and pop and price what about twist weight and swing weight how would that change it so I might do that next I might do that next um, and again we're being objective subjective type things are how does it feel when you hit it you know and does price even matter I don't know I think some people are willing to spend two two fifty three hundred based on something they got you know influenced by someone else you know a friend has one they tried one out they like it money's not a big deal spend 250 whatever not me not me though all right so that is that's a good start we're gonna start there definitely want questions comments below I definitely want to know if you're interested in this stuff at all let me know how I did my cadence my volume whatever if you feel like you want to see something specific great um, I do have more stuff to go over I think that's gonna be a second video I appreciate your time I'm glad you made it to the end um, again John Q he did a lot of work I'm also gonna look at some stuff from Braden at pickleball effects he has a spreadsheet out as well there are some different things on his that John doesn't show obviously the same list of paddles is gonna be different with his it's gonna be interesting so stay tuned uh, feel free to like and subscribe and uh, one real quick uh, disclosure I you know I'm an affiliate of who def and I do have a link below with um, with a discount code so I just wanted to disclose that all that stuff's in the description below I appreciate your time I'm glad you made it through the end and you know we're gonna we're gonna bring you back onto shore here um, so we're gonna have part two coming up we're gonna look at some variance we're gonna look at some analysis of variance we're gonna see what matters it's good stuff I can't show you that I can't show you that yet okay alright folks gonna gonna head out I appreciate your time and next time you play tell somebody they made a nice shot see you later